Now we're moving to the next topic, it's nouns. We're discussing English grammar. We have already discussed the adjectives, articles, conditional sentences, gerund and infinitive, modal and modal auxiliaries, and now we're uh, beginning with topic nouns. So it's countables and uncountables. The countable nouns. Most of the nouns are countable. You can combine them with numbers, example 1, 2 or 3. Here is an example. 1 pencil, 2 pencils, 3 pencils, 4. Uncountable nouns. These nouns cannot be combined with numbers. Water, butter, coal, money, salt, iron. If you want to express a quantity, you have to use a special phrase, example, glass of water. Note. Some nouns can be either countable or uncountable. We recommend to use a good dictionary to find out whether a noun is countable or uncountable or both. Here is an example. Hair, hairs. You've got some hairs on your t-shirt. There might be five or six of them. Your hair looks lovely. Here you think of the hairstyle. Thanks for watching. It was English Grammar with Luna Muru. Countable and uncountable nouns in English.